big fat old disclaimer on this one. What supplements do I take? I just got done walking for about 20 minutes. The first 20 minutes I've walked for the day. Um, my physicality has gone down the crapper um, in the last year, six months especially. Um, for me, getting up and walking for 20 minutes uh, is a pure uh, motivation, willpower thing. Um, if I don't, my arthritis hurts me. Uh, if I do, um, I'm exhausted and it's painful. Uh, it takes the same level of motivation and energy from me to walk around back and forth in my apartment for 20 minutes as it does for um, the average person to go for a long run or go to the gym for 45. Um, it takes it out of me and I have to take a break. So I have to be conscious and pain-free enough first and that takes a big chunk of time for me to get there in the day. Um, could be uh, the MECFS is getting worse or it could be um, the red blood cell problem, I don't know what it is, or uh, the iron deficiency anemia, um, whatever the cause. That's not what I said I'm going to talk about. Uh, disclaimer, do not take medications or supplements or anything without your doctor knowing because you need to uh, see a doctor to have your vitamins and stuff run to see what you need to be on um, before you start throwing more pills into your system because we're on plenty enough medication already. Um, <laughs> so with that said, don't take these without talking to your doctor. Um, I am on um, dietary supplemented vitamin C uh, and iron uh, because apparently uh, supplemental vitamin C, which I was taking for a while, um, I didn't know until I did some more research, uh, won't help you absorb the iron. Um, only actual iron will help you absorb the iron. Um, and my uh, my toenails and fingernails started to split right down the middle and crack um, off the nail bed. And I'm like, that's messed up. I'm used to my hair falling out, but that that's bad. Um, and so I did some research and I found out the primary things are zinc and iron. And I know I'm anemic. Um, I'm going to have infusions uh, soon um, for five weeks of iron. Um, so <coughs> uh, I added um, vitamin C to my diet because iron absorbs with vitamin C, but apparently not with supplementation vitamin C. So I'm not taking supplement vitamin C anymore. I've modified my diet to have vitamin C and, uh, and zinc via um, seeds, um, pumpkin seeds uh, are a high source of vitamin zinc, of zinc. so I have um, low sugar but not substitute sugar, small glass of orange juice and a handful of uh, pumpkin seeds every day with um, my iron tablet uh, to try to help um, my fingernails and toenails not fall off and break off. Um, and um, I am on a medical grade protein and um, L-carnitine and creatine. Uh, the creatine and the protein were suggested by a nutritionist because she felt my protein levels were too low. And so I would go to my doctor's office and get the uh, crea get creatine, L-carnitine, and collagen supplement. And it was medical grade food products, so it came with all the amino acids, not like typical like pure protein powder or whatever. It's uh, for sarcopenia, which is muscle loss as you age. Um, so uh, I would have a um, protein drink every day for breakfast mixed with water, um, not with anything else, just water, and have that. Um, every day for breakfast after doing my yoga or whatever, but um, I haven't really been exercising, so I haven't really been having that. I'm not a uh, vegetarian or anything. I just don't happen to apparently get enough protein in my diet, um, which is not a common thing for someone to be protein deficient, but I was apparently protein deficient. Um, but I just haven't had the money um, for some time to replace it. Um, meds cost money. Um, 
50 some dollars for that tub a month and I just I can't do it uh, anymore um, so I have some generic brand out there and I have it periodically but I'm probably not getting enough protein um, and the uh, creatine and L-carnitine um, my cellular capacity this has to do with the uh, MECFS uh, there was a uh, deficiency um, in my uh, that's part of the Krebs cycle, how your mitochondria make ATP, which is energy. Um, L-carnitine and L-creatine are precursors <clears throat> to um, your body making energy. And um, I had a deficiency in my capacity to make um, especially L-carnitine and um, some deficiency in L-creatine. Um, so I am uh, pharmaceutically supplemented with those as well. Um, I am on a prenatal multivitamin with DHEA in it, and I take fish oil every day. Um, and I found it surprising that I was DHEA um, deficient uh, because I already was taking fish oil every day, and I try to have fish um, a couple times a week. Uh, you got to be careful with your fish. Uh, mercury and all that stuff but you gotta be careful with everything don't we um so i don't know how or why i was dha uh, deficient but i was dha eaf deficient and that hasn't been checked again um but i take a multi prenatal multivitamin um with dha in it and omega-3s in it and i take fish oil every day um and i take turmeric <laughs> Uh, anti-inflammatory uh, if you're going to take turmeric not you could just put it as a spice in your food I do that too um, if you're going to have turmeric uh, in a capsule form uh, it doesn't digest or absorb very well uh, it, most of it tends to pass right through so you should get turmeric with black pepper in it um, because the black pepper like the uh, vitamin C helps the iron absorb black pepper helps the turmeric absorb this is why it's helpful to go to your doctor and figure out what you're deficient in and um, go to a nutritionist to find out the best food combinations possible because food first because things work better in concert with each other than a solitary capsule alone um i have uh, ginger uh black pepper and turmeric all in one pill I also have uh, ginger in my fridge and uh, sauerkraut and stuff like that to eat. Um, I have um, beetroot that I take every day, um, calcium chews. Uh, I have um, for my MTHFR genetic variant. Uh, where I don't absorb B vitamins or other vitamins and minerals appropriately, which might be why I'm having my nails and stuff fall out and I'm not getting DHEA despite um, eating it, um, that I take something called methyl care, um, also from the same place I would get my sarcopenia stuff and um, uh, I write at my doctor's office and I can order it online too. Uh, that's 35 a bottle, but the more I learned about methylation and how important it is for a whole variety of other things besides just vitamin and nutrient absorption, I decided to bite the bullet and, and buy that again. So I'm back taking that every day. Um, what other supplements do I take every day? Oh, vitamin D, three. Um, I have a periodic and ongoing uh, vitamin D deficiency. Um, I've been severely deficient in it in the past. Um, and I, I take vitamin D and I take a prenatal. And so I don't know why I keep being vitamin D deficient, but I keep being vitamin D deficient as well. It's like I have a malabsorption issue or something. Uh, but um, so I take a vitamin D3 every single day. Um, not a massive one because I do take it every single day. Um, if they drew my vitamin D3 levels and they were extremely low, exceptionally low, I would um, 
have to go on a larger dose, which would be by prescription. But um, it's just ongoing, so make sure to supplement that in there every single day. Um, let's see, what else do I take for vitamins supplements every single day? Um, I think I covered my daily supplements. Um, oh, um, sometimes, sometimes I take PQQ, uh, sometimes I take um, NAD. Um, I, oh, oh, daily supplement. I also, um, daily supplement with coenzyme Q10, uh, because that genetic disorder that makes my hereditary hemorrhagic telangiastia that makes me prone to blood clots and strokes and things. And, uh, it has some history of being potentially beneficial for people with chronic fatigue. Um, so I take coenzyme Q10. Um, every day. Um, so yeah, those are my daily supplements. Um, the second time I recorded this video because it froze in the middle, I had to redo it. It was better the first time. Um, yeah, so besides the um, 12 prescriptions that I'm on <laughs> and the monthly shot for antipsychotics and the bi-weekly shot for rheumatoid arthritis. I also take numerous, like a tote full, one of those big fabric totes full of supplements. And then I try to watch my diet as best as I can. Try to stay on, away from bread, try to stay away from dairy Try to eat lots of nuts and seeds and olive oil, fish, greens, vegetables, um, some fruit, mostly berries, um, ginger, have fermented foods, um, almond milk lately because my estrogen is low. Um, I have been adding tofu. Uh, in uh, up my protein and my estrogen uh, at the same time. Um, that's that's what I do. Um, yeah. And I can't think of anything else. But yeah, most of those were um, those were not blindly made decisions. Um, they were uh, suggested by uh, the rheumatologist or uh, the nutritionist. So if you're looking into supplements and what you should try, um, definitely get your doctor's opinion, get your labs done, get your doctor's opinion, uh, and see a nutritionist first. And as for has it made a difference, well, I started the video by saying my, my health has gone down the shitter, my energy level has gone down the shitter in the last year, six months especially, so I don't know, maybe I'd be worse for the wear if I weren't. That's when I told my boyfriend, it's like, I take multivitamins every day and I still feel horrific. And he's I'm like, you know, like How, they're not like doing anything for me. And he's like, well, maybe you'd be worse if you weren't taking them. <laughs> Crap. You're right. So, I'm trying to do the best I can with my diet. I'm trying to do the best I can with my food. Um, not nearly doing enough exercise, but I'm doing the best I can as far as that goes. Um, I'm not well um, these days, especially on the energy front. Um, the pain front's pretty close second. But, uh, 
yeah, maybe I'd be worse off if I weren't trying. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Peace. I'm going to walk around again.